Morning, y'all. We're out at a different lake today. Haven't fished out here in probably three or four years, maybe longer. Uh, we're gonna go out here. The wind is blowing 30 today, so I had to try and find somewhere out of the wind. So we're gonna try under this bridge and uh, see what we can find. I got uh, I got the depth finder going. I don't really know how much it's gonna help, but I just figured I'd bring it along. Um, just got my my little uh, Cabela's Fish Eagle Rod, two 16th ounce limits tackle jigs, tandem. We're gonna see what we can find. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get started. I really don't know. Like I said, I haven't fished out here in a long time, so we're just gonna kind of just, just drop around and try and figure them out a little bit. I don't know what kind of depth they're holding in, but we're gonna just look around. Mm, there was a bite. That did not take long. Keeper too. Not a bad first fish. Not bad, not bad. I would take it. There's the fish. Like a good fish too. Oh, nice crappie. Both of them hit that top. Which makes me wonder. Maybe they're a little shallower than I'm thinking. I'll take a picture of that one. It's a pretty fish. Finding a couple this morning. Lemons tackle split tails getting the job done. Went all the way out to the end and it is blowing. It is choppy, white capping, and everything. I was just trying to come out here and just get as far out as I could, so I'm not going out there in it. Just wanted to show y'all. So, made a switch. I went to a 16th ounce feather jig that I tied, and I put a couple crappie nibbles on. I don't know. I feel like there's fish here that just aren't biting. Really moved down a little bit. Figured we'll give it a try. bit like I couldn't have had more than two or three foot of line on. That fish was shallow. My little bitty jig. Not a keeper but pretty fish. Yeah that fish could not have been more than two or three foot down. Now my line's gonna be all sorts of tangled. What about that? No, it wasn't. Very interesting. Very interesting. It's another one. Oh, it's a yellow bass. Yellow, yellow belly. Yeah, 
guys, the biggest tip from this video is to don't forget, don't let, let that jig fall. Especially if you use light jig heads on these bridges, let that jig fall slow. Watch your line. That line's going to go slack and them fish are going to be on it. Um, that's what's happening today. It happens a lot. Just got to watch that line. Um, and watch that line. Use light jig heads and don't, you know, drop it straight down to the bottom. Let it float down every single pillar. So, hope that helps y'all. Yep. Another shallow crappie on the fall. That one almost keep. One probably would keep actually. On the drop again. Starting to notice a pattern now though. Crappie up top and a yellow on the bottom. <laughs> it's definitely a reaction bite. I mean, it's like it's like clockwork now. I mean, just every pillar just do that. Get a bite or two. Another one. Mm hmm. One's gonna come off. There we go. Pretty fish. Fish. So funny, they're all on this one side. I have not caught a fish on any other side except this side. Except right here. One thing too that's making these fish get up shallow is there's tons of fry around all, around this bridge, so they don't need to go very deep. Stay close to. Oh man, that would have hit it so hard. Snag something. Oh, crappie. Snagged him, I think, yeah. Snagged him, he's there. Looking at it. 
probably crop it. It probably he almost keep. Caught him looking. You know, it just goes to show, I mean, you gotta just, you know, don't give up hope and keep, uh, stay patient and try different techniques and you can figure out what they want for the day. I'm bad about that. I I just want to drop down and catch them. I don't want to have to work for them, but sometimes I have to remind myself that's what I have to do. So that was kind of like the day, so it just goes to show, keep trying different things and don't give up. Yellows are everywhere now. Line went slack. Oh, missed him. And I meant to say, all these fish, the line's just going slack. I'm not really feeling a lot of them, just the line's going slack. It came off. Nice fish. guy over there just left from here. That's a good fish. Got that jig pretty deep too. I'll try and save him. fish right there. Same place on the drop. Reaction bite fish. Little dink. Another one. It's a nice one. Double. <laughs> Double. The bottom one came off. This top one's a nice one. He came off too, but it's all good. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Yeah, let's get the water off. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, it was a little tough day. Didn't really catch a whole lot of fish. I had to work for them, but I think I figured out a little pattern here at the end. So I hope this uh, you know, goes to show. Just keep you know trying different things and mixing it up until you find something that works. So. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't. That helps me uh, out a lot. And hopefully I can be able to, you know, eventually one day get a good boat. Um, appreciate all the support. See you on the next one. Y'all stay safe out there.